So for this, uh, hold on, I'm just looking for the product I was supposed to talk about. Uh, yeah, this one. Uh, this KFY portable 8.5 inch product on Shopee. Nice. We use this for a lot of things. Raise button, the screen lock, 8.5 inch. By the way, just uh, for uh, reference, 8.5 inch doesn't refer to the size of, you know, just the size of the length or the width. It's about the diagonal line. So this would be the example of an 8.5 inch. Though you can't see it clearly, hold on, I put my hand on the ruler. You could see the link right there. It is 8.6 though. And of 8.67. Yeah. But I uh, guess if it is that 8.5 right there, that's the pine 5. That's the measurement for this uh, tablet. Parsing at 77 to 89 pesos, right? But the thing is, uh, I could, you know, could also do this on another application called Medibank Paint App. Although it's a little bit, uh, you know, very simple. But it's only just uh, like a no uh, budget friendly for other people to use but if you have a uh, existing existing uh, tablet like this or the phone minimum paint app you can definitely do the same so what we going to do here is fill it up with the black layout right fill it with a black layout and that's turned to black then we go over to our pen and change our pen color. Change pen color to red. And we can start writing here. Drawing there. And we can also adjust our lines. Although it's a bit different on this uh well this is only for simple one. Although you could also you do this on the phone, but you have all the options to change the thickness of the pencil and also change the color of it and also for the erasing part you can do this by looking at that erasing icon that little box with a white filled out and change its size right here to 1000 and you could just erase everything now that included the background but for this, uh, the only advantage is that you can add another layer so that you won't affect the black background. Right there. So now you could draw, you could draw stuff, like violet. Also move it, like the arrow icon right there. Pretty much simple. It's in also. Uh, to download and also you could use this uh, by the way this is an older version of a Medibang Pen 8 but Medibang Paint app that you could also do this on I'll just turn it off this one although you could also do this on your own phone like any any other phone and it's compatible with Medibank Panty Paint app. And hold on, let's wait for it. The bank paint app if you do have a phone, but if if you want to have a cheaper option you could use the 8.5 inch L C D that I showed you before. So moving on from this, um, hold on. Let's wait for it to load. Open new canvas. Yeah, this is our trial. Just look at the size. Okay. 
So for this, uh, yeah, I can also do the same and see the bucket filter right there, the bucket the tipping over, that's also the fill app and you could change color the background. So that is black. You can also change the sizes right by the pen and the paper right here, canvas settings, change the canvas size. Canvas size referring to the size of the workspace. So if that's the workspace. But for the image size that is for the overall image size like all of it including the contents that you have drawn right here. So things in order to ask for imitate what happened or I mean what is being done on the L C D screen on the products that can change the background to black, add another layer, add another layer for separation, then use other colors, three colors like green, then oops, sorry, I'm gonna get there, uh, cancel. Okay, we'll choose color layer for that one. Color layer. Do the same. Then click erase if you want to erase. Instead of using the eraser tool like this one and erasing manually, we could click the clear layer right there. And it's all done. It's the same function as the previous one with the filter. Right here, right? Same this one, right? Very spot on. Well, it's the same. However, this also only for a budget friendly if you want to buy it. Although it might be a bit too thin, I think. Be sure to handle it with care. Although I think it would be uh, supposed to say that this would be for 13, I mean, 13 ages or up. But that is uh, only depending on the careful handling of the user or the one who bought it. So that's how you can uh, imitate what is uh, being done here. Now LCD screen digital drawing. So you can do it with the Medibang Paint or any uh, painting apps as long as it has an erase tool, uh, a layer tool, and um, a pen tool yeah. so that's about it okay so also to take note um, is this recording? I just make sure oh. also to take note um, I think I'll try to create uh, one of these Structures, yeah, something like this. I think we could uh, replicate this uh, build or this um, structure like a pen holder. I think it is uh, slightly possible. Uh, we're using a uh, cardboard, uh, thick cardboard pieces. Could do that. Yeah, no, no, the only thing we have to do is like uh, identify the parts that we have right here. So, let's have some measurements right, right there to replicate this. So, however, we're going to do is to have a replication, or I mean, replication of the structure. So, it's like half, half, 24, right? But we don't have a real value of this right here so we're just gonna do a concept like this and copying everything changing some parts parts here and there so three levels structure right there put them in back this big this is slightly open this is slightly narrower the other one. So 
is smaller. Over the sensation plate there. So there's this three big piece right here. Big piece right over here. This right here. Same level on this little part. And yeah. We gotta ignore the smooth edges. This is only for a concept. Size right there. Mm. Sizes. Half of this, I think it's. I think it's half. It looks like half right there. So half, half, half. And a little bit half. So one, two, three, four. But here, it's like half. So this is supposed to be half, same size. And a half size, six centimeters. There's a size like uh, six, six centimeters time minus 50. So that is nine, six nine. So it's smaller. So this is like smaller in this part. Yep, that's smaller. So it's like uh, two thirds. This is two thirds, or this is one third of that of that structure. Structure, and there's like a mini drawer right below here so I know what size it but be a little bit three centimeter or two centimeter I think but that is a little bit small so we may have to give it some adjustments but not a little bit not, I mean not, uh, not a little bit not long enough because I think the integrity of this uh, structure lays on the on how small this part of the drawer is if it's uh, too long I think it might collapse because we are using a cardboard I mean illustration board for our, for this build so see here you can make you some okay so can you see these corners right here right see that part right there it's like an insertion point insertion point so that means uh, this build is like uh, have a lot of pieces that lays on the parts that can like parts that can uh, go through on this so it's like a structure like that it's also uh, the same principle that is uh, used for making um, dovetail. I think dovetail joints. Dovetail joints. What, what do I mean by dovetail? It's like uh, something like this. I think we have um, a lesson on this on drafting. Though this is for a specialized structure, so this on the lower part and this is on the other part right there so that uh, this part can uh, paste on this part I think they're using uh, wood glue or uh, nails for this or screw so for that uh, you can also see here that they are using screws for this part so that it can hold on so there's like a small hole right here that we can use to screw but we don't have any uh, tools for that at the moment because it, it, it's very small in that part so imagine it being a bit smaller because we don't have that one 
we're going to use um, Im some improvised glue or change this uh, part since we're using a cardboard paper I think we could use another plaster like a uh, hold on it's much better to explain it in this kind of form so we have here a illustration board right here right and this sample insertion point so on this one is that it's supposed to be cool around here but what we're going to do here is add a little bit of uh, length on the insertion part so that when it's uh, when it's inside the insertion point you have uh, like a little bit of length uh, centimeters to have it uh, spread out like split apart right here so this is the insertion point this is the inserting part and this is the extra length that we added before though it's a bit smaller that you can see but if it's explained right here we have this is the part that is insertion then right there right there so it matches this part also adds another secure position if you can paste right here paste this extra part to the insertion point part yeah so yeah that's the going to be the plan and I think we are going to apply that on this part all parts right here so I think it is the same because you can see here also on the front it could it has some insertion points one two three no on sides I think one two three you know just take note of those parts and this parts right here although I think we may have to add uh, some cardboard boxes right here for integrity that you can hold on those uh, pencils or pens or ovens and stuff some extra stuff right here also for the bottom part right here I think we may have to add uh, two layers or three layers though I'm not sure if we could like that so this is the sample of an illustration board that is how thick it is be two three layers i think yeah two to three layers would be the same but it will take a lot of time for us to finish this uh, replication of our structure but we don't have 3d printing so only make do with uh, pen and paper although it costs highly and the maintenance is uh, astoundingly expensive we do have i do have an alternative way of you know, creating stuff yeah, great and stuff. Because uh, at one time I think I made another thing. So we have. Okay, sorry for that. I just put some stuff. So we have here um a structure that I made back then about a few years back. I think about in 2020 to 2019. I made code. But this is um a structure that is um uses a pen holder mechanism that goes up though it's complicated I do regret that I didn't add any structure right here so that it can hold a little bit longer because I can see here in the video is that it sways back and forth so we don't want to have we don't want that to happen because it's very integral in the integrity on how it can hold out those uh, pencils or more pens. So anyways, let's hold on. I think this was a uh, written on an outline. Very hard to explain this in one hand. So for this, we have here this part. Yeah, hold on, I'm just gonna just raise it up.
Okay, so now it's a little bit um, upwards, right there. So what I have here is that it could extend out right here. Uh, so I'll just have it down here. And although you can see it, I'm just trying to put it over of this um, structure. Oh, shit. I forgot to paste this part. So, yeah. Just put it on and then check on the other side. Oof. These two pieces. These are anchor, anchor, anchor points. That is hard to manage. So, you're gonna push that out. And. Just push this out. Oops, I think it's stuck right there. Yeah, just pull it up. By the way, this part is um, pasted on this part, on the back part. You can see, and yeah, there's a flap for covering it, for uh, protecting it from dust. Uh, single ones just put it right here it was supposed to be like that right though I'm not sure how it goes hold on just finding the sweet spot insert it to Jesus Christ okay so yeah, that insert part right there now that is uh, anchored and then we also have this other one so it's only just uh, one single piece of uh, folder. So right there. Oh, there. It's a little bit uh, loose on the side. Yeah. This goes on. And structure this. I think um however not that much it's not even in side through it. Yep. Yeah. And it's a little bit of work but it is uh, stable on its own. But for the most part it can only uh, hold about this like although I think I did an integrity test back then but I think this was for uh, these pieces right so we just add stuff right there pencils stuff hold up hold up I think uh, I may have some cutters on never mind uh, I also forgot that it doesn't go through right there right there you see right here there's a blockage right there so I think this was just to be for it to have some length but this uh, space right here I don't know what you could do with it hmm yeah so anyways it just stops right there and although it's integrity test I think I did try on I can't see if it can hold these are very lightweight by the way although for such an intricate design it only can only hold a little bit less than like nope definitely can't so a little bit one two three four five six seven just seven or pencils if it adds a little bit more it will destroy this part right here so i tend to give it 
some space for it to hold police but and then but only seven seven in this part right here it can also hold uh, one two three I think those are three three uh, three layers or three parts and I think this was a uh, last minute addition additional parts it just uses uh, the layer layered cardboard uh, plating I mean layered uh, plating you know, just forget it just uh, folder plating mechanism also uses uh, the same lock right here although I'm not I'm not entirely confident on the anchor points that can hold then we're gonna test it out Oh, so this how it uh, looks on the side part and we have another extra um, anchor point although I'm not sure where it's supposed to go but I think other anchor points were like this one are lost because I forget from the old house so but on this part is that you can see one two three layers so that got try and see if you can still hold on after all these years and yeah so same as the other one is next is about seven c4 five And six. And seven. Yep. And hold the number eight. Nope. I can't. Not. So when one. Band, what the P, LK2, 3, and then the second layer still holding on, still holds up. So I'm not sure if you can see it, you can see it right there. So inserting, okay, so what am I? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, then that is number 7, Jesus Christ. Okay, just 7. Seven. Oh, 
little, as you can see, there's a little bit of weight that's making it go down. It's a bit slanting, but the integrity, yeah, no, I think there needs to be some sort of work right there. So, just testing under layer one, two. Yep, you can definitely see it. It's creaking, it's creaking. Okay, it's worked. So, th so that's the only limit. limit that only hold on about just one layer. Ever for three layers, I think it can't hold any more than that because I could hear the uh, paper. It's like uh, loosening or uh, removing its uh, paste or its glue itself. It's like a uh, scratching or like a velcro removal it's like the sticky part doesn't uh, stick on the paper anymore yeah so we're just gonna remove all of this so a little bit of work around on the on the part but this needs to be a little bit simplified yeah just all in all just uh just work um, improving the structure integrity on the side parts like uh, make it um, larger and maybe add an you know add a part right here that can hold itself and hold or hold this part right here so I think we have to add a part right here that can extend or fold out and connect on this part right here but that is only for its improvement on its improvement but I think I may not or I think I could not uh, make the time to make adjustments on this uh, particular build it's a colored pencil holder Although the only thing that I could uh, be proud of is that this uh, sliding mechanism is that you could slide right there. Oh shit. Yeah, just, 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 just pick up in and it's very fragile whenever you create uh, paper models. They are they are going to break at some point. The only way to improve the integrity is either adding more layers or simplifying the design and and making the very uh, logical I'd say like logical or structure and hold out can hold out for almost you know, like years I think Time. Okay, so I'll see you next time.